Toto Wolf has been constantly working on the agenda of signing Verstappen to Mercedes as soon as possible, preferably from next season. But the plagues of the W15 have proven crucial for the Dutchman to keep his option non-relevant in his career. However, ever since Montreal, the team has managed to score three podiums, win two races and secure two pole positions, locking the front row in Silverstone as well. So with all of this in mind, is Wolf's promise that the car is going to get a lot better for Verstappen to consider Mercedes as a legitimate option fulfilled? And more importantly, can Verstappen consider the Silver Arrows as a proper team for his future, considering he isn't in the fastest car on the grid anymore and is a one-man show in Red Bull? It goes without saying that the biggest drama is still around the vacant Mercedes seat that has been left before the season even began, as Hamilton decided to drop the biggest bombshell and move to Ferrari from 2025 onwards. Although he might regret that move, seeing where the teams currently stand in the mid-season development war, the show must go on, and Mercedes is eyeing big names on the market, preferably the biggest one, Max Verstappen. Over the past couple of months, Toto Wolff has constantly shared messages about signing Verstappen as the proper replacement for Hamilton, as there's no other driver on the grid that could fill in the shoes that Hamilton left empty. While this would be a massive challenge for Russell, the Brit is looking forward to working with the best driver on the grid if Mercedes has an opportunity to sign him, which as of now seemed impossible until the last two wins in Austria and Silverstone, especially the last one because it was on pure racing merit. This was the primary issue as to why Verstappen didn't think of a move to Mercedes, while also not denying that he's been thinking about his future recently amid all the internal power struggles inside of Red Bull. Obviously, the goal for the three-time world champion is to have the best car in his hands in the foreseeable future, and now it seems like Mercedes could provide that in the matter of half a year, with Allison admitting that the solution has been standing right in front of their noses and there will be aggressive upgrades in the next two races. The goal, as the technical director of Mercedes said, is to take steps that the rest of the grid won't be able to match, and this is what gives the wind in the back for Wolf to continue the pursuit for Hamilton. With his latest statement being that the Dutchman was kind of forced to say that he will stay in Red Bull beyond 2025, as he wasn't given any choice to answer the question properly. When talking about the vacant seat in Mercedes and how the Silverstone race influences that question in greater matters, Wolf said, I don't think it does influence our thinking. I've always said we need a car that goes quick, and when we have a car that goes quickly, we put a driver in and we get interest from many drivers. But in a way, I think we need to stay calm and continue the season. Max had a lot of time to look at our car from the back in Silverstone, so maybe he'll change his mind too. We'll see if the W15 will be the car that convinces Max. It's Max who wins the races and not Red Bull. These joking jibes towards the Austrian team, as well as their superstar of a driver, are definitely meant to do something much more than just a playful game. It's obvious that Verstappen is caught in the middle of the internal power struggle in Red Bull, and quite frankly, he may have taken the side that has lost the battle, the one against Horner. The 50-year-old team principal of Red Bull has reportedly gained even more power after the battle has ended, and the fact that he went on to directly prevent Joss Verstappen from driving the RB8 during the Legends Parade in Austria goes to show where his thoughts stand, aggravating reactions from Max and Helmut Marko as well. When talking about how the car has suddenly started to score big points after being considered a midfield one along with Aston Martin at the beginning of the season, Wolf went on to say, It clicked, and suddenly everything that didn't make sense made sense. The development direction, or the result of the development direction, are like back in the old days. We're finding performance, we're putting it on the car, and it translates into lap time. That wasn't the case for the last two years. There's more and more to come in terms of the performance we're bringing. We're bringing bits to Budapest and Spa. But on the other hand, we must not get carried away. We had a win last week, benefiting from the entangling. But in Silverstone, we had an honest win. We had the real pace, we had George and Lewis in the lead, and in almost all conditions we had the real pace. We were there. What would be of a heavy interest for Verstappen when it comes to the potential Mercedes mission is the fact that the team no longer has problems with the core barrier they had in the past couple of months, the correlation between the simulator and the on-track data. Wolf has constantly said that there's more performance to be unlocked, it's just the fact that they don't understand where they can unlock it because of this correlation issue. But now all of a sudden Mercedes seems to be second fastest team in contention with McLaren. 
and on pure pace, they might be even the fastest in the upcoming races. As Wolf said loud and clear, it's Max who wins the races for Red Bull and not the team. So if the Silver Arrows continues this upward trend with McLaren, the Dutchman would be more prone to mistakes and ultimately it would end up with him looking for a stabler environment to work in, which would be outside of Red Bull. It's not a secret that Mercedes would be more than willing to bring everyone that Max is keen on taking with him, which are definitely his father and Helmut Marko. But when we're talking about a driver like Max, we must understand his influence in the team. He won 62 races with this squad, and there are quite a lot of engineers that would be eager to continue the work with him, whether he decides to move past Red Bull or not. What is more important now is that Mercedes builds a car that can show Max that championships do not need to end in 2025 or 2026, mostly because the new regulations are a period in which nobody knows what's going to happen, not even the teams alone. However, with a great emphasis on the engine and battery power, as well as the reduction of downforce and elimination of the DRS effect, it does seem like Red Bull will be the team with the greatest loss, as these were all their strengths during the current regulation era. Even before that, Mercedes managed to creep behind them and snatch two races in a row in 2024, which is a trend that almost will likely continue throughout the season, as Allison said that there are a lot of upgrades ready for the car, to the point of other rivals not being able to catch up. Whether or not this is possible under the current budget cap era, that's up to Mercedes to fix, but with such strict regulations that have been in place for so long, money shouldn't be as big of an issue as the intelligence behind the problem which in this case is definitely James Allison. Back in May, Allison said that the team will be starting to bring upgrades and will see the car competing for podiums and maybe race wins around the summer break. In two races before that, we've seen a total of four podium finishes, one pole position and two race wins for Mercedes. Obviously, the turnaround in fortunes is massive and in the upcoming races, where the temperatures tend to be a bit lower with weather that can hinder the race, just like they did in Silverstone, Verstappen would have a thing or two to think about when it comes to his future with Red Bull. There's also the statement from Ola Kalenius, the CEO of Mercedes, who openly said that Verstappen would look good in silver, and it's up to them to prove that it's not just about the looks, but the performance of the car, which the team is now slowly but surely taking into consideration and is becoming a very serious contender for race wins, not only podium finishes. And Max didn't take it easy when it came to Horner taking his father out of the Legends Parade in Austria. Despite him saying that they spend a lot of time with Horner every Sunday at the Brits' home watching the football, it's evident that with Perez's underperformance, as well as the turmoil that's happening in racing bulls, the team is trying to promote Liam Lawson as early as possible, so that in case Verstappen decides to make a shocking move to Mercedes, they'll have a proper replacement to train when their new regulations kick in although it's nowhere near compared to where Verstappen was at the age of 22. We must also not forget about Kimi Antonelli and Carlos Sainz, who are the real threats for the Mercedes seat as well. But they stand no chance if Verstappen decides that the time is now and he needs to continue chasing more championships with another team. With all of this in mind, do you think that Mercedes has what it takes to prove the three-time world champion that they are the right team for his future? And more importantly, do you think that Verstappen himself would be willing to take the risk and jump ship to the team that he once fought extremely hard for in 2021? Let us know in the comments below and once you do that, make sure to click on the video that's appearing on your screen right now.